Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect and use the WM1 and the WM1D. The WM1 is a wireless MIDI adapter for keyboards, drum machines and other MIDI devices. It gives you super low latency and you can connect up to four devices giving you wireless freedom to create your music. It will also communicate with some tablets and phones that use apps that have MIDI. If you're using a Windows computer, the WM1D gives you wireless MIDI as well. The WM1 comes with a AAA alkaline battery. Look for the sliding battery cover on the WM1 and insert the battery correctly. Look on the side of the WM1 and you will see which end goes into the MIDI in and out connectors of your device. Connect the WM1 to your MIDI device and turn it on. The WM1 will also automatically turn on and a red light will start to flash. If you're using a MIDI controller that only has a MIDI out, use the plug that has MIDI out written on the side and has the mode switch. To connect to a Mac computer, insert the WM1 to your MIDI device and it will begin to search for a target and the mode indicator blinks red for a certain length of time. On the Mac, start Audio MIDI settings. From the MIDI Studio menu, select Open Bluetooth Configuration to access the Bluetooth configuration. Make sure that the WM1 is shown and then click the Connect button. If it doesn't show up, briefly press the WM1's mode button again to make the mode indicator blink red. When pairing is completed, the indicator changes from blinking rapidly to slow blinking. Now inside your music program, select MIDI inputs and look for the WM1 and select it. Now you should be able to play via your WM1. This is how to use standard mode to connect the WM1 with the iPhone. Connect the WM1 to your MIDI device. The system begins searching for a target and the mode indicator blinks red for a certain length of time. The mode indicator blinks every second. From your iPhone app, directly select the WM1. When pairing is completed, the indicator changes from blinking rapidly to slow blinking. Return to your music application and select MIDI input and output, then select WM1 Bluetooth. Hit OK and you're ready to play. If it doesn't show up, once again briefly press the WM1's mode switch to make the mode indicator blink red. When pairing is completed, the indicator changes from blinking rapidly to slow blinking. This is how to connect the WM1D to a Windows computer. Connect the WM1 to your MIDI device and the system begins searching and the mode indicator blinks red. Once you have inserted the WM1D into the USB port of your computer, briefly press the WM1D's mode switch. The system begins searching for a target and the mode indicator blinks green for a certain length of time. When pairing is completed, the indicator changes from blinking rapidly to slow blinking. You can connect multiple devices using the WM1 one being the host and two or three being remote. Begin by connecting the host unit to the WM1 out plug that has the mode button and it will begin to flash red. To now pair with a second remote unit, connect a second WM1 to the MIDI connections of your instrument. The mode switch will start flashing red once connected. Press it again and it will then turn green. It is now in standard remote mode. Now do the same with your second remote unit by inserting a third WM1 into the MIDI connections and you will see the red light flashes. Press the mode switch button and it will turn green now enabling remote mode for the third device. Now go back to your host device and press the mode button again and the red light will start flashing quickly as will the remote devices as well as they connect and communicate.
Thanks for watching.